Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Math with Mrs. O. I'm Ophelia Orate, a principal owner of a school and a tutorial center, a math teacher and an author of 21 books. Today's lesson is Philippine Science High School Review, all in math. You can also use this for science, Quezon City Science High School Review, Ateneo High School Review, La Salle, Manila Science High School Review, Marikina Science High School Review, Makati Science High School Review, and all the science reviews in the entire world. <laughs> okay, as I mentioned to you uh, before, I used to teach in Philippine Science High School for 18 years and I was also the math department head of Philippine Science High School. Okay, problem number one. The side of a square is 0 0.03 meters. What is its area? The area of a square is side times side or simply side square, which is simply side times side. Now, the long way here is, of course, for you to multiply 0 0.03 two times. Okay. So long way, 0 0.03 times 0 0.03, 3 times 3 is 9, 0 times 3 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, then 9, 0, 0. Then count the number of decimal places, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 at 0 point. So the final answer is 0 0.0009, where is that? Okay, letter B. Now, shortcut. When you're squaring a decimal, like, for example, 0 0.01, when well, you're squaring it, right? Or multiply 1, 2 times, 1 times 1, 1. Then count the number of decimal places. 1, 2. There are 2 decimal places times 2, so there should be 4. So count here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, 1, Two, three, four. So your answer is 0 0.0001. Uh, another example. Let us say we have here 0.4 and then you square that. So multiply 4. 4 times 4, 16. How many decimal places do you have here? 1. Multiply it by 2 because you know you're squaring it. So 16, then. 1, 2. The answer is 0.16. Problem number 2. The least among the following is. When you have negative numbers, the numbers on the left are always less than the numbers to the right. Repeat, the numbers on the left side are always less than the numbers to the right side. So, when you have here um, these numbers, you can see that we will have here 0.12 and then 0.21 somewhere here, then 0.22 negative uh, all of these are negative negative 0 0.23 and letter e is positive so it must be to the right and as i've said the numbers on the left are always less than the numbers to the right so the least or the smallest here is negative 0 0.23 oh let me give you practice here practice or well, number one let's say negative 0 0.22 what is its relation to negative 0.10 or 0 0.10 is this on the left side yes so this must be less now what about negative 101 what is its relation to negative 102 negative 101 is to the right of negative 102 so negative 101 must be greater than negative 102 
Repeat, again, what's the rule? The numbers to the left are always less than the numbers to the right. Next, problem number three. Five hundreds with THS can be written as so five this is hundreds tenths point repeat tenths hundreds so the answer is letter D point zero five remember this is again tens hundreds thousands this is tens hundreds so if you name this as five hundreds or you read it name it or read it as five hundreds with THS problem number four what is the cube of 0 0.1 so this is 0.1 times 0.1 is 1 times 1 1 come the number of decimal places 1 2 1 2 point times 0 0.1 again because you're supposed to cube it so 1 times 1 is 1 count the number of decimal places we have 1 2 3 1 2 3 point shortcut I'll give you a shortcut when you're cubing a decimal this is what you do 0 0.1 you cube it meaning you're multiplying it three times so multiply the number three times one times one is one times one one then Count the number of decimal places, 1. You will multiply it by 3, so 3. 3 counts, so 1, 2, 3. There, put the decimal point there. So if you have point 2 here, Q, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Then count the number of decimal places, 1 times 3, 3. 3 decimal places, so 1, 2, 3. There, so you will have point zero zero eight. So what's our answer here again? 0 0.001, letter C. Problem number five. How many 1.5s are there in 20.5? It's as simple as how many, let's say, fives are there in 20? There are four fives in 20. So all you have to do is to divide. 20.5 divided by 1.5 again what do you do you move the decimal point one place to the right make it a whole number if you move this one place to the right you also have to move it put the new decimal point here copy it immediately there so you will not forget and then 20 divided by 15 is 1 1 times 15 is 15 subtract we get 5 Bring down 5. 55 divided by 15. So how many are these? 3. 3 times 15 is 45. Mm -hmm. Subtract, we get 5 minus 5 is 0. 5 minus 4 is 1. And then, after the decimal point here, that should be 0, right? So you bring it down, 0. 100 divided by 15. How many 15s are there in 100? Uh, let's let's say let's say you're approximating 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. 75 plus 15, 19. So you get six there, right? So six times five is 30. Zero carry three. Six times one is six plus three, nine. There you get ten. Now stop. Try to see if there's if there are num if there is a number which is bigger than 13.16 or 13.6. There is, which is letter D. So your choices now are 13.6 and 13.63. Which one is the correct answer? So you simply proceed. Put zero there, bring down zero. 100 divided by 15 is again. As you have seen here, you got 6. So 6 times 15 again is 90. So this is not the correct answer. This is a better answer. The answer number 5 is letter A. Let's proceed. Number 7. Julie earns 12 pesos per hour. 
For each hour over 40 hours per week, she earns 18.75. How much does she earn if she works 45 hours in a week? Okay, so we have to cut the 45 hours. It says in the problem that for each hour over 40, so first 40 hours, she earns 12 pesos times 40. But from 41 to 45, you count how many hours are there? 41 to 45. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Diba? There are five hours. It says here that for each hour over 40 hours, so here, she earns 18.75. Then you add the results of this. Let us see. 12 times 40, 12 times 4. 4 times 2, 8, 4. Add 0 there, add 0 here. So that's 480 pesos. This one, man. 18.75 times 5. This is 5 times 5, 25 carry 2. 35, 37 carry 3. 40, 43 carry 4. 5 times 1, 5 plus 4, 9. 1, 2 point, 1, 2 point. 93.75. Oh, add them. 5, 7 point. 0 plus 3 is 3. 9 plus 8, 17. Carry 1. 573.75. There. So our answer should be... Oh, it's not here. So you encircle letter E. Next, problem number eight. Which of the following is equivalent to 2%? 2%. Percent. Percent. Per, per means for every. Cent is 100. For every 100. Like, there are words uh, starting with cent, like century. Century means 100 years. What else? Centipede. When you say centipede, it has how many feet? 100 feet. Yeah. So when you see the word cent, it means 100. Percent means for every 100. So 2% means 2 for every 100. So 2 per, for every 100 is copy the 2, then move the decimal point 2 places to the left. Point zero 0.02. Our final answer is letter D. Uh, practice. What is 3%? So that's 3 per 100, or 3, move the decimal point, 2 places to the left. Oh, what about 14%? That is 14 per 100, or copy 14, move the decimal point, 2 places to the left. There. Yeah. Problem number 9. Which of the following set will form a proportion similar to 3 is to 4? Now. All you have to do is to check. Letter A, one-fifth is to two-fifths means one-fifth divided by two-fifths. That is one over five times the reciprocal of the denominator, five over two. You cancel this. That gives you one half. No, that's not the answer. Letter B, six is to ten. Six is to ten means six over ten. Divide this by a common factor. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. No. Okay, letter C. What did we put C here? 6 is to 1, obviously. 6, 6 is to 1 is just 6. No. Letter D. 12 over 16. Common factor of 12 and 16 is 4. Divide both sides the numerator and the denominator by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 16 divided by 4 is 4. There, that's it. So the answer is letter D. Problem number 10, the last in this video. 36 flowers, 36 flowers to 6 bases, to 6 bases expressed in ratio is 36 flowers to 6 bases. Or 36 is to 6. 
they are both divisible by 6. There. Divide. 36 by 6 is 6. 6 by 6 is 1. 6 is to 1. Or 6 is to 1. So the final answer is letter C. Oh, I hope I was of help. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. And then watch our next video on Philippine Science High School and other Science High School or any high school entrance exam review. Don't forget to click the bell button and then always remember to add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Thank you.